All right, everybody. Uh, this is just a figure dump video because I'm in the uh, so-called vault and I got to do some tidying up and this is all stuff that I've basically been picking up all summer. Summer is over and this video was meant to be made a while ago. So uh, I'm going to make this real quick. It's a mixture of things, I believe, but uh, I need to get this stuff out of the way. First up uh, that I want to show off that I got this summer was the Blue Mini. It was a very reasonable price, probably going to be his only ever figure unless he signs a Legends deal, and I don't know if WWE would do that. And I think this is a very solid figure, especially from these guys who make these this line because, you know, there are a lot of hit and misses. That new Jack is horrible. The Jim Cornette is all right. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Just Incredible figure is horrible. So, I mean, that's just what you see here. And pause if you want to read that. But, uh... I'm pretty happy with this one. I thought I was going to open him. I don't know if I am. Uh, unless I can find another one. I found this at Retro Rat in, I think it's considered St. Petersburg, Florida. So uh, go check them out. I do like the cloth good shorts. I don't know if they're going to actually hold up when you take the figure out. But like I said, I don't plan on opening them up right now. Now this next figure here, I do plan on opening them, but I'm going to pack them up for now. Because uh, the box is beat. It's not in amazing shape, but as you can see it is Joey Styles. I don't know if he ever had another figure other than this uh, And this is it uh, What did I pay for that? And there you go because one of the stickers is still there. I used to pick up some of these figures from these lines, but I'm over it. There's nothing here. I'd want other than maybe the great Kali, but I have a basic of his which is that is basically a basic uh, and I think he only had two figures ever made so there is Joey Styles just look for the date it says 2007 there's a balls Mahoney wow RIP I must have picked this up when I was in my stretch of not finding anything this is Boba Fett from the book of Boba Fett it's a horrible show on Disney Plus um, this is when he was wandering the desert after he got out of the Snarlack pit. Is that what it's called? I don't even remember. And the sand people, not the sand people. Oh, jeez. Are they the sand people? Yeah, yeah, the sand people kind of took him as a slave and treated him like a dog. And then somehow he gained their trust and became one of their tribe. Blah, 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 blah. This is the figure. I don't know what it looks like underneath. I don't plan on opening it. But I bought it because, like I said, I... Pro oh, well, there's the price because I was probably on a streak of not finding anything Next up is Legends Lex Luger uh, The second head is eons better than the first that first one. I don't even know uh, and of course The only reason I bought it was because of the wolf pack shirt uh, And you would go into the line uh, of figures that I have that are usually displayed behind me which are all, all on W.O. Uh, I found Keebler. I know he's got another one in his store. This is from Major Toys in Spring Hill, Florida. Never saw X-Pac, never saw Kane. Uh, I have too many scalpers around by me, and these little toy stores that are popping up have been my saving grace, because otherwise I can't find what. Next up is a figure that I had pre-ordered from GameStop. They took half my money, and I never got the figure. Uh, but I found him also at Major Toys. I think he there's a couple more in there. I do feel the need to buy one more. Not that I open up my uh, my Star Wars Blacks, but uh, it's a cool figure, and I have yet to see this in stores anywhere. Uh, I was told one point that this figure was canceled, so I don't know. But uh, this is Saw Guerrera from the movie Rogue One, the only good Disney movie. Uh, Star Wars movie that has been made uh, He's one and done because he was killed in the movie like just about everybody else. He was the leader of those Gosh, were they rebels? I'm not real positive. They were gangsters or something though bandits um, And like you said, it's a dope figure. It's pretty damn cool uh, And I think it sold for $20. So I mean come on Next up is Ned B from the show Kenobi on Disney Plus uh, I also, the, movie, the show had its moments, but oh my god, it was incredibly stupid. Even the girl that played Leia said the show was dumb. But the robot follows a long history of new Disney movies where uh, it's a robot with feelings. 
that ends up getting brutally massacred at some point. He doesn't have a speaking role, but he was kind of cool, and I did enjoy this one. It's better than the one from uh, the Solo movie where we find out Lando Calrissian's having sex with his robot. I can't get that one out of my mind. But anyways, that is the back. Give me a second, pause to read it if you want to read it. Oh, yeah. Well, basically, the back is the front. Because uh, this is new packaging, but some companies are going with uh, to avoid that one little sheet of plastic. I don't know, but I guarantee you the inside of the box still has plastic. I'm not a fan of it, but whatever. If they think it helps something, which I'm sure they do, whatever. To each their own. I'm not making them. So, anyways, up next is impact figures of conan and bg james um i've always wanted this one i've seen it a few times as low as 45 dollars, and for whatever reason i never pulled the plug on it um but this one i did because i was this was from a toy store i can't think of their name right now in ocala that my friend justin turned me on to i've been there about two times now and this was sitting in there and i couldn't let it go and because i didn't fucking have it stored properly now i have a corner bent but it wasn't in the most amazing of shape um why did i want this figure well for one uh what was the name of their group i don't even remember three three live crew that's it whatever that is supposed to do it doesn't do it anymore but i was always a conan fan i've been saying it forever Conan needs figures, but uh, he ain't signing no Legends deal. And to me, this is the best looking Conan made. I think that Legends company that did Meanie had one, but it's it's ass. Is this the best? Is this a good road dog? I don't know. I guess it is for like whatever this was, 2010. But I guess there's a side profile of you. It ain't horrible. It looks like Conan, but it's just a little weird. But it's better than what's out there. And I was happy and I bought it. Oop. Found this in a Wally world while on vacation, which is a little old. It's not that old. It might be about a year old or so. I was pretty stoked. I'm not a big Roman Reigns fan. I'm over the bloodline shit. I did like. I did basically buy it for the shirt. Um, I know they have, uh, what is it, ringside exclusive Jay and Jimmy Uso, which are uh, with the one shirts and all that stuff that I'll probably end up buying. Um, and I think I have a solo coming in the mail but uh that was uh what are these called again i don't even remember ultimates up next i have the warlord uh this is powers of pain warlord i believe was it powers of pain powers of pain was in wcw i don't know was he in wcw i don't remember i honestly don't remember probably not because he wouldn't have been called the warlord um but this is, I have now both of his elites, and I was pretty happy finding this one out in the wild. Yes, I did find that one in the wild.